mention athletics typically. So I get a lot of questions on when to foam roll, when to do movement foams, base mobility and things like that. And it just keeps coming up. So let's go over that again. When we're doing any type of movement base mobility, we're going to do that before our workout. That way it gets us into the positions we need to to perform our workouts. If we're squatting that day, we need to do movements or movements that mimic squatting. We can get into those better positions. And then we're going to do um, foam rolling base mobility afterwards. The reason for that is we want to go ahead and use that soft tissue work to break down the muscles or break them up and the adhesions in the muscles afterwards and allow it to help downregulate the body, let us relax, work us on some breathing, and just getting all that tightness out. If we do the foam rolling beforehand, it usually, we kind of get lazy and it slows our bodies down, it gets us ready, calms us all down, it doesn't really fire us up and get us ready for lifting. The one caveat to that would be if I'm so extremely tight that I can't even get into those positions through movement-based mobility, we may do some soft tissue work just to get us there. But ideally, you're not that bad off. You should be taking care of this stuff on your own time so that you don't even have that issue. So again, movement-based mobility before your workout, soft tissue work post-workout. There you have it.